want to take electricity and magnetism? Why? It's 150 years old. It's not changing the world like computer science or bioengineering. Plus, it's only an approximate description of the world. It does a terrible job of explaining things at the atomic scale. Inside of an atom, why would that nucleus with all those charged protons want to stay together? Everything would fly apart. Why does that electron just keep going around the atom? So electricity and magnetism gets a lot of things wrong and is really old. I, I really wouldn't bother. Now, wait a minute. But it does do a really good job of explaining things in our macroscopic world. Large things like power plants or our electrical distribution. All of our electrical power, of course, is based on electricity and magnetism. Motors that convert that electrical power back into motion are based on electricity and magnetism. It's behind other sciences like chemistry and biology. Every time you move your muscles, that's due to an electrical impulse in your cell membrane. And light, don't forget about light. Light is an electromagnetic wave. It's a sinusoidal vibration of the electric field and the magnetic field traveling at the speed of light. So electricity and magnetism actually explains a lot of things. It explains refrigerator magnets and lasers and electrical circuits and computers and compasses. Oh, and then, and remember in Star Wars, remember the, the double sunset of Tatooine? Remember the low sun was kind of red and the higher sun was kind of yellow? It explains that. So yeah, maybe it is important to take a class in electricity and magnetism. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put Rice Physics 102 online just for you. There may be a few other thousand people involved. But just like the Rice students, you'll be able to see the lectures and watch the demonstrations and do the homework. There'll be camaraderie, there'll be danger, and maybe even a little bit of humor. Now, it's not going to be easy. This course will be your introduction to field theory, and field theory requires three things. It requires vectors, it requires calculus, and it requires their unholy union vector calculus. Now, don't worry, you don't need to know vector calculus ahead of time. We'll be covering, taking basic ideas from vector calculus. So, I'm officially excited. Click the register button, and I will see you in the fall.